Right, um, what we're going to do here is we're going to be taking off the welded on flash hider. Uh, one of the problems that people have had is because of the two spot welds they put on the bottom, it can be really difficult to get that off. What we've discovered over the course of these clinics is that adding a barrel vise to the equation actually makes this a pretty easy process. We've done dozens of these with very few problems. First thing, 1 16th Allen. There's a set screw right here. It goes into the uh, castle nut to keep it from rotating. We need to back that out. So we back out the set screw and uh, basically set it aside. Now, we're going to lock this into the barrel vise, point it upwards. The gun at this point needs to be stripped down so that it'll go into the barrel vise. Now, for the purposes of our demonstration, we've actually already taken this one off uh, to make sure there were no issues, but you would be doing this with a brand new. Castle nut pliers, a set of uh, vice grip C-clamps, ground down to be the right size. There are other ways you can do it, but these were inexpensive, easy to make. Lock into the castle nut and turn that until, turn it all the way out until it touches. Now we're going to have the owner of the rifle support the barrel so that we're not just bouncing it up and down. Piece of one inch hot rolled uh, bar stock. A rag over this to protect my hand and incidentally the rifle. We set the bar stock against the uh, base of the flash hider and carefully just give it a good smash. After you smash it a few times, well that one was actually on there a little loose from our reinstall and uh, generally what you'll have to do is once you break it you'll have to turn the castle nut out hit it a few more times and just gradually until it breaks free. In this case, the flash hider actually broke. You can see the weld spots on the barrel. This one will have to be cleaned up just a bit. There's a bit of a burr there. But once that's cleaned up, he can actually, if he wants to, use this flash hider by just putting it right back on and screwing it down with the castle nut. Easy, uh, generally a maximum of six or seven minutes per rifle and we've had very few problems that we've had three or four of them actually break the flash hider the rest of them have just popped right off